Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Wednesday, December 29th, 2021. Uh, counting down the days here of, of that year, of this year, 2021. We only got two more days after this one. So, yeah, it's hard to believe it's almost over. Um, but, yeah. Anyhow, about 11 degrees here at the house and a, about two, two and a half, three inches snow uh, overnight. So, um, hope you... Uh, We'll all be safe in, in clearing your sidewalks and driveways from that snow. Uh, yeah, it's sunny now. Sun's coming out. That should melt some of the stuff, at least on the blacktop. That'd be good. Uh, check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Uh, leave a comment or a question below if you have one. My back is still quite sore. I've got an appointment at 11 today to see somebody about that, and hopefully they can get me uh, get my back straightened out, so to speak. So anyway, uh, I do have my coffee here, and it is in a Minnesota Gopher mug. Gophers won their bowl game last night, so so far the Big Ten is 1-0. So good luck to the Badgers and Purdue and all the other uh, Big Ten teams in there. Let's let's run the table. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? So uh, Gophers beat West Virginia last night 18-6. to So cheers, church. Okay, so again, devotion from our Advent Christmas devotional, uh, Heaven and Nature Sing, and our writer is Megan Johnston Elabuni, Elabuni. I apologize, Megan, for mispronouncing your last name, so I'll just call you Megan from now on. How's that? Uh, she's an ELCA missionary in Jerusalem, and today's picture is an old, old painting of the Nativity. See, old, probably medieval time painting of the nativity there. So, and our scripture reading is Luke 2, 15 to 16. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. And the to ponder part is a verse of a Christmas hymn, Angels We Have Heard on High. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strains prolong? What the, glad, what the gladsome tidings be which inspire your heavenly song? And Megan's devotional is titled Jubilant Shepherds. Staying with the sheep was the whole point. If the flocks didn't need watching, the sh shepherds could have slept in their own warm beds rather than keep awake in chilly fields. Yet in the afterglow of the angels, the shepherds wasted no time. They left their fields and hurried off to see for themselves the miraculous event that had taken place. Were the sheep left to graze on their own? Or did the shepherds bring the whole buying and bleeding cacophony with them? Awakening sleepy neighbors who asked, Shepherds, why this jubilee? In the scriptures, jubilee is no ordinary celebration. It is the year of the Lord's favor, an extraordinary time of freedom, homecoming, and forgiveness of debts. We can think of jubilee as a wonderful interruption of business as usual by something important enough to overtake everything else, like the end of a war or the birth of a child. That Christmas night, the hymn imagines, jubilation came not only from the angels with their cascading glorias, but also from the shepherds themselves, singing joyous strains of heavenly song on the way to meet the child who would grow up, who would grow up to announce the year of the Lord's favor. I like that image of Jubilee, uh, not only in the hymn, but also from through the scripture. Shepherds, why this Jubilee? And that Jubilee is a time where um, the slaves are freed, where uh, property is returned to the original owners, where all the debts of everybody are canceled and forgiven. Um, it's hard to imagine something like that, isn't it? That you know, your mortgage, your credit card debts, your student loans would all be forgiven. 
anybody who's who's in a, a, a oppressive relationships or um, or, or in slavery, and we still have that uh, in our world today, would be freed and could go home again. Uh, it's a beautiful image. And I think it's one we should uh, keep in our hearts and minds and work toward that. Because we know <laughs> people go into to quite, um, do a lot of shopping beyond their means at Christmas, right? Because they, because they want to give their kids the best Christmas they ever had. And, uh, and then the bills come due in January and it hurts. Um, yeah. But what would, what would it mean to just forgive all the debts, student loans, credit card debts, mortgages, things like that, car loans? Wouldn't that be interesting? Ponder that on this day and uh, be of strong heart, good courage to stay at your church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your mask, distance, get the vaccines and boosters. We do all these things to show love for our neighbor and share the light of Christ. So let's pray. God of Jubilee, awaken us to your presence in the world so that we might embrace your gospel with jubilation. Amen. Blessings on your day today. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.